What is up guys, this is Jonathan Ryerson Hotel here and we're going to do another fire alarm demonstration today and is today is January 30th, 2019 and we're going to be demonstrating um, two Wheelock remote strobes and, and what do we have up today? Okay, I'm going to go over the, the model numbers too. Well, over here we have my Wheelock WMT-24 remote strobe and over here we have my Wheelock ZRS MCW multi candela remote strobe as you can see um the strobes do look different from each other's you know well this one is basically vertical and this one is a horizontal and this strobe looks newer than this one this is an LSM strobe I believe and it's got the fire marking on the bottom right here. But this one has the fire marking on the side. So I believe this is an outdoor version of the, the WMT series. Um, I'm not a, completely sure. It's just a strobe on a double gang plate. And the weird thing about these strobes is these are really bright. And, and the candela that it's fixed on is 117 candela which I find pretty weird and these were basically these are basically used in classrooms sometimes and hotel rooms sometimes really in schools and hotels or other places these can be used outdoor I believe I'm not completely sure but this does look like an outdoor version and it kinda looks like a WST 24 remote strobe kind of but the WST would have a frosted strobe not this clear thing in the front with the reflector so this is a vertical strobe it's an old it's pretty old not sure it was made but they don't make those anymore and right here well I'm not sure when this one came out this one does look newer and it's the remote strobe version of the Wheelock ZNS but I do have a ZNS horn strobe, but I don't have it with me right now for this demonstration. I have, it's put away in my fire alarm, which I have in those boxes underneath my bed. Yeah, I've been I've been collecting more fire alarms so I can do more videos for you guys. Um, so this demonstration, we're going to be testing two remote remote strobes at the same time. We're going to be testing the really old one, and we're going to and we're the same time with this newer one that I have right here. So this was basically my first Wheelock device, which is the remote strobe. This is an older remote strobe. This one's a newer remote strobe. This was my second Wheelock remote strobe with an LSM strobe. It's multi-candela. Well, this one's not multi-candela. Well, a thing with these um, remote strobes, they can be remote strobes of Wheelock EHDL1 24s, I believe. Wheelock EHDL1 WM24s, I believe. I'm not sure. Or they could be remote strobes of Wheelock MTs. Because I do have a horde strobe version of it, but it's starting to break down, but I'm going to get a new one pretty soon. The the horn strobe. This one's fine. It, it works just fine. It, sometimes, if the voltage is a little low, um, it flashes pretty slow. And it's bright. I believe these strobes can be synced up with the Wheelock sync module I believe I am not completely sure if anyone would like to tell me that please do so if I want to get a Wheelock sync module to sync these strobes up then then that would be that'll be perfect I might get system sensor module the MDL and I might get the simplex smart sync module if I want to run it simplex devices if they're smart sync like I know the model number to the module um the simplex module is um 4905 dash 9838 smart sync module okay I have them running off two 9 volt batteries and these strobes I tested this off of camera and it was really awesome so you are you guys ready for these strobes to flash and I've been rambling for like five minutes, so enough of rambling, enough talking, let's get on with the test. In three, two, one.
as for a second, they do sync up with each other. That one right there is set on 75 Candela. This one is fixed in 110, so this one is brighter. I know you may not tell on camera, but you'll see in person. It is bright. I'm not sure if these can be synced up with the Wheelock sync module. I'm not completely sure, guys, but if if you guys find out if these two strobes can sync up with the Wheelock sync module, then please tell me. If you want me to guys, if you want me guys to buy a a sync module to sync up these strobes, then I'll be more than happy to do that in the future. I don't know if you can hear it, but you can tell you can hear the the capacitor going in the Wheelock remote strobe right there to the left. Let me put the camera closer so you can hear it. You can barely hear this one because this one's a lot quieter. This one has like a quieter capacitor, but this one has a little bit of a louder capacitor. It's pretty old strobe. It's from like from the nineteen eight from the nineteen nineties, I believe. I'm not sure, but those are discontinued. I had this strobe for two and a half years since I and this it was tested back in Fire Alarm Test Seven, and that strobe was tested in Fire Alarm Test Fourteen. If you guys want me to hook up my Wheelock ZNS for this demonstration, I'll be more than happy to do that. Well, the horn would be sounding right now if I had my ZNS plugged into the circuit. Like, even though when the horns are sounding and the alarms are going off in the building and if you push um silence on the control panel the only thing that will be going off is the strobes right now it feels like the alarms are on silent well these are not horn strobes the alarms will be silent if if you push the silence button the strobes would still go off but some alarms don't still don't have the strobe going off especially like two wire devices i believe i'm not sure Some Wheelock devices can be not be set to silenceable, especially like Wheelock EH, EHS Steel 1s. But I don't have a Wheelock EHS Steel 1s, which I wanted to badly, but that's alright though. But it's not ev it's not an everyday thing that pops on, up on eBay anymore because these alarm this those like those alarms are starting to get pretty old and they're starting to get unreliable and they can't count on them anymore okay let's turn them off before I drain my batteries all the way yeah, those are the dogs barking outside. Okay, guys. I Well, this will be the end of this video. I hope you guys liked it. If you guys want to see um, more videos like this, please leave a comment or request down below if, if you want me to put the Wheelock ZNS on the circuit, too. But the Wheelock ZNS, I do have that device, guys. And it's the remote, the horn strobe version of this. This is the strobe only version of the ZNS, but it's not really a ZNS because it's a ZRS. And it's like the remote strobe on Wheelock RSS's pretty much. That'll be the remote strobe of the NS's pretty much. Alright, I hope you, well that will be the end of this video of this Wheelock fire alarm demonstration remote strobe. I hope you liked it. If you want to see more videos like this, 
please leave a comment down below. So, take care, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.